Morning guys, what's growing? It's Heather at Bush Poppy Farm. It's a few minutes after seven in the morning and I'm out here early to harvest because I have a lot to do today and it's gonna be hot. So I wanted to get out here while it's still cool. It's probably like 55 degrees right now. It's beautiful. Uh, and get all these flowers harvested, get them put out of the heat uh, so I can put them together as bouquets later this afternoon. So maybe the camera won't overheat while we're doing this. This is cooler. Let's get started on harvesting. Okay, so the harvesting's done. That took about two hours. Um, and I got some hydrangeas here at home as well. Next job is to clean up this bed. So this bed is full of a lot of things. <laughs> Mostly that's helichrysum. That's the small leafed uh, plant. And then there's the lamb's ear. And there's a lot of other stuff in there too, but it's kind of hiding because it's been overgrown by, or, you know, overwhelmed by the other two. So uh, I'm going to dramatically cut all this back. I've been waiting because I wanted to make sure all the flowers were spent from the lamb's ear because the bees really enjoyed that. Uh, I'm going to cut all this back and um, make sure everything that's under it is good. We get a lot of spring bulbs here um, 
and I want to make sure those are still going to have room to come up next spring. So that is the next job. My goodness I did not expect it to look that much better <laughs> that is crazy um, now it just looks like kind of mostly a tidy bed um, I deadheaded some of the flowers over there so hopefully they'll come back it's osteospermum and uh, I don't even know what else is over there um, but oh my gosh it looks so much better Wow okay so that means I want to tackle not today because I don't have time cleaning out um, the cottage garden. It's it's that time of year, it's almost August, and uh, there's still green, but things are looking patchy and rough. Uh, so time to come in and do a whole bunch of, not necessarily weeding, but trimming and getting rid of dead things. And we actually have a tree company coming later this week to thin out, uh, get rid of a whole bunch of stuff for us and also thin out a bunch of our trees. Um, and so once that's done, this area will actually get some more sun, which is going to be really nice. Um, and I can start, you know, cleaning out what needs to be cleaned out and then adding in some stuff in the back row where I need to. Um, but you know, like all these dead, you know, dead branches and stuff, those need to come out, just tidy things up a bit uh, so that we can go into fall with it not looking horrendous. Uh, there's a lot of bare patches of earth which I don't want um, and part of that is a water issue um, so we still need to address that it's been a year that we've been needing to address that um, so got to sort that one out but I might pop some bigger things back here at the back of the beds um, that can kind of deal with the conditions that they have back here which is more drought tolerant stuff um, that doesn't need a ton of sun so um, I think I'm going to wrap this video up now. I need to go organize all those flowers. Right now they're all higgledy piggledy in buckets. Um, I like to separate everything out and have all the sunflowers in one bucket, all the you know snapdragons in one bucket, et cetera, et cetera. Makes putting together bouquets a whole lot easier. Um, I have 14 to build today, and uh, it's it's still around lunchtime. So I'm going to wait and do that later in the afternoon, so they have plenty of time to soak up all of the um, hydration fluid so that they are nice and strong stemmed when I build the bouquets. And tomorrow's delivery day, but also more work. I think I'm gonna be doing the string trimming at the farm. Um, it's gonna be a little bit cooler day tomorrow. Not that it's super hot today. Um, by any stretch, it feels pretty amazing, uh, especially uh, considering last two weeks in Italy were extremely hot um, our first week. We did tours of, we were in Rome, we did tours of um, the Colosseum, Palatine Hill, the Roman Forum, the Vatican, um, guided tours, and uh, it was 107 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it was brutal and very little shade. So um, yeah, it's really nice to come back to much 
more normal, cooler temperatures. I mean, honestly, normally at this time of year, we're in the triple digits here in California. So it's kind of odd, uh, but we're not looking gift horses in the mouth. Slowing growth down. Um, you know, I don't have as many tomatoes as I usually do this time of year, that kind of thing. Um, but you know, it's all good. At this point, I'm just happy I have things to harvest for my customers. And uh, we are starting to get, I don't think I'm gonna have any peppers this year though. I don't think any of the peppers are gonna grow. Um, it's just not hot enough for, for a long enough period of time. So, um, but before we go, let me show you <laughs> how crazy these uh, sun gold tomatoes have gone. Okay, the <laughs> last time you saw these was, I guess, mid-July, so it was about three weeks ago. They are almost touching the roof. Um, I have gotten some tomatoes off of them. The sunflowers here are all so beautiful. I've cut a whole bunch of them. That's the reason there's none over here. Also, there was a whole bunch of yellow yarrow. I cut that as well. And then this is a random amaranth that I did not plant. It just showed up here, uh, probably by birds. And I cut from that as well today to put in bouquets. But um, all of this will get, you know, will be gone by the end of summer and will be left with the Wajila, the ground cover, and the um, the yarrow will stay, it'll just get cut short. And then all the lavender that's under there that you can't see right now. But yeah, these, <laughs> these sun golds are crazy. Almost touching the roof. And there's plenty of tomatoes on them. Um, I have harvested some romas as well, and I've got some of the bigger celebrity, et cetera, uh, up in the front garden. They're just all still green. So I'm hoping that soon we're gonna have some tomatoes to harvest. Okay, so I got up super early this morning. I've gotten about five hours of work in. I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. Take a little time to have some lunch before I go make some bouquets. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a wonderful time in your garden, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.